Israel pummeling Gaza with airstrikes Wednesday. Palestinians scrambling for safety. Food, water, and medicine, those supplies are dwindling. And Gaza's only power plant shutting down, local authorities say. Only generators are running, but the fuel they need is drying up. Sirens and explosions echoing in Israel. Hamas rockets carving out fresh destruction. As violence mounts, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing coalition and opposition leaders have agreed to form an emergency unity government. Top officials will make up a new wartime cabinet overseeing the conflict after Saturday's stunning Hamas attack, the deadliest in Israel's history, killing scores of people and taking hostages to Gaza. Both sides now reporting death tolls of more than a thousand each. I've been closely following dramatic events in Israel and Gaza. Referring to the fighting as a supercharged cycle of violence and horror, the UN Secretary General saying a spillover of the conflict and any further escalation must be avoided. His concern coming after reported attacks on Israel from southern Lebanon. We've seen the almost undescribable acts committed by Hamas against Israeli men, women and children. Every day we're learning more and it is simply heartbreaking. Not since ISIS have we seen this kind of depravity. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken speaking to reporters before leaving for Israel where he's set to meet with Netanyahu to offer U.S. support face to face. The Israeli military has mobilized some 360,000 reservists and says it's massing troops near the border with Gaza in one of the latest signals that a ground offensive could happen soon. Melissa Duggan, City News.